नमस्कार आई एम अनुभव रंजन एंड यूर वॉचिंग रितम द प्लाइट ऑफ हिंदूज इन पाकिस्तान इज अ ग्रिम रिमाइंडर ऑफ द सिस्टमैटिक डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड एट्रॉसिटीज फेस्ड बाई रिलीजियस माइनॉरिटीज इन द कंट्री सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन पाकिस्तान हैज डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड लेटेंट डिस रिगार्ड फॉर द राइट्स एंड डिग्निटी ऑफ इट्स हिंदूज माइनॉरिटी हु आर सब्जेक्टेड टू परसिस्टेंट इन जस्टिस इन एजुकेशन इम्प्लॉयमेंट पॉलिटिक्स एंड इवन बेसिक ह्यूमन राइट्स successive governments have turned a blind eye to these atrocities offering no accountability or justice for the victims in one of the latest horrific incidents a 15 year old hindu girl in the sangha district of sindh province was forcibly converted to islam and married to a 50 year old mohammad bagali a man over 3 times her age the girl renamed samia after her forced conversion was coerced into marriage against her will this disturbing event facilitated by molana abdul gafur mengal is a part of a deeply entrenched pattern of abuse where radical clerics manipulate legal loopholes to frame such forced conversions and child marriages as consensual thus shielding perpetrators from justice this is not happening for the first time but one of the countless examples of pakistan's failure to protect its minorities the sindh province notorious for its persecution of hindus has repeatedly witnessed similar atrocities in september 2024 a minor hindu girl named nisha was abducted and forcibly married to an older muslim man around the same time another kidnapped hindu girl from hyderabad endured a year long ordeal before being returned to her family in september 2022 14 year old meena meghwar and other teenage girls were abducted forcibly converted and married off in nasarpur and mirpur khas in 2020 mahak kumari a hindu girl from sindh was abducted forced to convert to islam and married to ali raza a man with two wives and four children already These cases highlight the recurring exploitation of young girls under the guise of religious conversions and marriages. The Pakistan Hindu Seva Welfare Trust recorded over 50 cases of forced conversions in Sindh alone in 2020, while broader estimates suggest that at least 20 Hindu girls are abducted every month in Pakistan. Shockingly, the judiciary often legitimizes these heinous acts. In April 2024, United Nations experts expressed alarm at the lack of protection for minority women and girls in Pakistan. They criticized the courts for invoking religious law to validate forced marriages, denying victims the right to return to their families. According to a University of Birmingham report, approximately 1000 women and girls from religious minorities in Pakistan are abducted, forcibly converted and married to their captors annually. Pakistan's government has consistently failed to address these gross human rights violations. Successive leaders, whether presidents or prime minister, have maintained a deafening silence on the issue. This lack of action underscores the institutionalized neglect and tacit approval of such acts leaving minority communities vulnerable and abandoned pakistan's treatment of its hindu minority is a stain on its international reputation and a glaring violation of human rights the continued abductions forced conversions and marriages of hindu girls reflect a deeply flawed system that prioritizes extremist ideologies over justice and equality it is high time for the international community to hold pakistan accountable condemnations alone are not enough there must be pressure for tangible reforms to protect minority rights and in the systematic abuse of vulnerable communities pakistan's government must recognize that its credibility on the global stage depends on its ability to safeguard the rights of its all citizens irrespective of their faith without accountability these atrocities will continue unabated casting a long shadow over the nation's future jai hind